This is going to be a reading of the November 16th update notes for Old School RuneScape. It's meant for players that want to stay up to date with the game changes but don't want to read the updates themselves. This update is titled Buy 50, Item Changes, and Quality of Life, November 16th, 2007. It's time to address the unaddressed and focus on some much needed quality of life updates. Whilst most of this week will be focused on the results of content poll number 57, such as updates to how the Serpentine Helmet and Venom's NPCs with various weaponry and buff to the RM staff, we do have a few other tweaks here and there added in for good measure. Buy 50. If you've ever been frustrated when having to buy multiple items from a shop in stacks of 10, you're in for a treat. All shops now have a Buy 50 option allowing players to buy items in, well, stacks of 50. Inserted are a couple screen caps showing the ability to buy 50 quantity at different shops. This change will not be live in King of the Skill Worlds as to not impact strategies midway through the contest. Section 2, Serpentine Helm. The Serpentine Helmet now gives a 50% chance to inflict venom when worn in conjunction with a poison inflicting weapon such as the dragon dagger poisoned. This also applies to poisoned arrows and boats, but not to emerald bolts e special ability. Attacks that hit more than zero will have the chance to trigger this effect and it will only apply to NPCs. In addition to this, it now gives a 100% chance to inflict venom when worn in conjunction with a venom inflicting weapon, such as the toxic blowpipe. Attacks that hit more than zero will trigger this effect and it will only apply to NPCs. Section 3, Pizzazz Hat. Destroying the Pizzazz Hat from the Mage Training Arena will no longer wipe a player's Pizzazz points. That's one more bank space freed up for those that were holding on to that one. Apologies to all Pizzazz Hats that are about to be destroyed. You thought you were needed, but you weren't. <laughs> Section 4, Arim's Staff. Arem's staff has long been remembered as one of the worst magic training weapons in the game, due to it being two-handed. Those days are now behind us. Arem's staff is now one-handed and provides a 5% magic damage increase. Section 5, in other news, a bulleted list of quite a few points. First being, Charging Cardist Memoirs, the teleport book of the new sp uh, quest that just came out, will now be possible with runes stored in the rune pouch. Cardus Memoirs now correctly unequips any bed sheets you may be wearing when you teleport. The Cardus Memoirs books now fits better when worn by female characters. Players who defeat the Sand Snake via recoil damage during the Depths of Despair quest will now have progress correctly. The book The Envoy to Varlamor can now be found in the bookcase of a player-owned house if the player has obtained it during the Depths of Despair. The pink cape model for women characters is no longer using the male model. Players are no longer stalled in animation when casting Cure Other, Energy Transfer, Heal Other, and Vengeance Other from the Lunar Spellbook. Mining Guild gloves no longer work in free-to-play worlds. Noted items will now appear in Wilderness instantly for all players if manly dropped. This does not affect their behavior if dropped on death. And let me repeat that one. Noted items will now appear in the Wilderness instantly for all players if manually dropped. This does not affect their behavior if dropped on death. The ducks in the Woodkidding Guild have had their ability to swim on land removed. The examined text of the Royal Accord of Twill has been updated. Some spelling and grammar errors within the Queen of Thieves dialogue has been corrected. Players can now use the check option on their Falador Diary shield to find out the remaining number of charges. A spelling error in Thomas Lawry's dialogue has been corrected. Lisa, the last man standing NPC, is no longer mostly armless. The value of the salve amulet eye imbued and the salve amulet enchanted imbued have been increased to better reflect the time it takes to acquire them. The toxic blowpipe now displays the exact number of scales while there are no darts loaded inside. 
a grammar error in the Slayer Master information when it, on a crazy archaeologic task has been corrected. So that concludes the reading of the patch notes for November 16th. Uh, the main takeaway is definitely going to be the Serpentine Helmet. Now we'll have a 100% chance of venoming NPCs when you have a venom weapon like the blowpipe. And then a 50% chance when you have a poisoned weapon like the dagger. So that's going to be pretty good. Although they didn't make it so it'll venom, in, venom during PvP. I always liked watching those YouTube videos of the defense tank peers that would uh, venom and then use a DFS charge to KO. I, I really love those. But at least this brings back the Serpentine he Time Helmet instead of just using it during max strength bonus so I really like that update and then number two is making the RM staff powerful again we got the five percent magic damage increase and it's one-handed that's the big that's the biggie so it's gonna open up a lot of a lot of options here it'll be interesting to see how people use that over the next week or so so thanks for watching everyone hopefully you like this guide I'm I'm I made it with the intentions of trying to keep everyone up to date with the game changes even though you don't want to read through all this junk just have this video on in the background or something like that uh, but if you like the video if you like these types of videos just go ahead and subscribe I'll be making plenty more in the future if this is a type of content the community wants to see thanks for watching everyone have a good one